Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Yet another place that we can select color is the swatches panel. Using the swatches panel is like using a traditional color palette when painting. You can load a set of colors that you want to use in an image file into the swatches panel. To select the swatches panel, select window and then swatches from the menu bar if it isn't already in view. You'll then see the swatches panel appear over on the right hand side and show a set of selected colors. You place your mouse pointer over any color in the swatches panel and the name of that color will appear in a screen tip like light blue violet. Now you can select which set of colors appear in the swatches panel by clicking the panel options arrow in the upper right corner of the panel to view the drop down menu right here. And here you can select which set of colors you want to use in your panel by selecting the name of the color set from the menu. Any of these choices. If you do that, then Photoshop will ask you if you want to replace the current color set. You can click OK to replace the set or append to append the selected set to the current set. And if you do that, then you'll have both sets to work with. To set the foreground color, you just simply click on any of the colors in the swatches panel, and that will become your new foreground color. To set the background color, hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click on a color in the swatches panel to set that color as the background color. Now you can customize the swatches panel to include or exclude colors. If you want to remove a color from the swatches panel, hold down the alt key on your keyboard and then click the color that you want to cut from the panel. The color you clicked will be immediately removed from the swatches panel. So again, all we need to do is hold down the Alt. You'll see your pointer turn into a little pair of scissors. Give it a click, and it will delete that color from the panel. Now to add a color, use either the color picker or the color panel to select a new foreground color. To then add the selected color to the swatches panel, you place your mouse pointer over the empty area of the panel and your mouse pointer should turn into a small paint bucket when it is in the correct position. Then you click to add the selected color to the color panel. So let's try that. We can go ahead, we can just use our eyedropper tool for example and select a color and we'll go down here into the empty part until we see our little paint bucket tool. We'll give that a click and then you can select a name you want and click OK and it will add that color for us. After you've modified the color you can then click the panel options button in the upper right corner of the panel and select save swatches over here and we can say save swatches to launch the save dialog box. Then just type a name for the swatch set into the file name text box and click save to save that as a custom swatch set if you want so that you can use it later. So we'll just say test for now and click save. To load a saved swatch set, then you select the options button and then load swatches here, select the swatch and click load and it will load it. If you wish to replace your current swatch set with another you can instead select replace swatches from the panel options button drop down menu and that will bring up the load dialog box and here you can select the name of the swatch set with which you want to replace the current set and then click the load button to load that set and remove your current swatches. The next time that you start Photoshop, the custom swatch set that you created can then be used by selecting its name from the Panel Options drop-down menu in the Swatches panel. To reset your Swatches panel back to its default settings, select Reset Swatches from the Panel Options button. So we'll 
select that again and then we'll say reset swatches and we'll say OK and it will reset our swatches back to the default settings. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.